Hello everyone, my name is Vishal and in this tutorial I am going to show you how can you track the time of your individual project in Corel Draw. Most of the time designers work on a multiple projects at the same time and unable to calculate the exact time of a project. With the help of this tutorial, we can easily identify and track the time of the project. So let's jump into Corel Draw. So by default you will not find the option project timer. You have to enable the option. So for that you need to right click on the property bar and you will find project timer. When you click on the pro project timer, it will appear over here. Now as you can see, there is a toggle button over here. You can make it on and off. So when I on the option, it has started calculating the time. At any point of time, I can manually close this. So the moment I close or make it off, it will stop calculating the time. Now what if I forget to manually make the button on and off of the project timer. In that case, it will not start calculating the time. So with the help of the setting option, it will start calculating it automatically. So there is option over here. Just go to this small triangle when you click it will open the small window like this now click on the setting button option over here and now we can define when this timer should start so whenever your document is open it will automatically start tracking the time whenever you switch to a new document again it will start calculating the time of the new document new project and whenever the project is open and activated it will start calculating the time now over here you can define the inactivity tolerance just for example if you are not active on your project on your file for 15 minutes it will stop over there you can define the time uh, from here i can make it five minutes that is completely up to us now let's discuss when the timer will get paused so every time when you minimize or you are out of Corel Draw, it will stop the timer over there. Whenever you switch to another document, it will pause the timer and it will enable the second project timer. And when you manually make the timer off, it will again pause over there. So now I'll show you the practical use of it. I'll just make it OK. And now I'm manually making it on. And now it is showing the time, it is 1 minute 31 second I have spent on this particular file. So, for example, if I take a new file, automatically what will happen, it will pause the timer over there and it will start calculating the timer of second file. So, let me just stop on 1 minute 55 second. I will not stop it manually. So, I will just go to file, new and i'll take a new project okay so now the first project will pause around 1 minute 55 seconds and they started calculating the time of the second file so now when i'm working on the second file it is calculating the time automatically i have not done anything over here the moment i minimize my code draw for example I, as you can see i'm minimizing it it will pause over there so i'll minimize around 30 seconds so let me minimize now. now. On 30 second, I have minimized Corel Draw. If I again maximize it, it will resume the timer from 30 second only. So can you see? It has again resumed from 30 seconds. So in this way, you can exactly calculate the time you are spending on any particular project. If I want, I can make it off manually. If I go back to the uh, untitled one file, the first file we are working on so now it will resume the timer can you see we have stopped on 1 minute 55 second around so it has automatically resumed now now if i minimize I, it will stop if i switch to any other project again it will stop so in this way you can very easily track the time of your individual project i hope i was able to clear you about project timer and as mentioned earlier if you are not spending more than five minutes or whatever time you have defined it will again pause over there 
If you have any queries, you can put it in the comment box. I will try to revert as early as possible. Thank you for watching.